Hey my friends, welcome back to a new video, it's good to see you, welcome back to my studio. I want to talk today about understanding the synchronicities, because so many people right now are moving through those interesting uh, mystical events we call um, synchronicities, and you know, if we're thinking about this year 2023, uh, it's a year of uh, number seven, right? And number seven is that mystical number of luck. Like, um, often it was used in stories, um, it was used in books, and it is a powerful number when it comes to, to um, let's say, mystical events. It is mystical. It's really mystical number. And then... If we look the Chinese calendar, it's the year of a rabbit. So 2022 was a year of going deeper into the rabbit hole. And now we found the rabbit, right? And rabbit is again um, in Chinese culture known as uh, an animal that represents luck, um, that represents harmony, but also balance. And when we're thinking about all the symbols, what it means? Well, this is a, an interesting year in front of us. But to understand all the synchronicities that um, are taking place in our lives right now, it means that um, we're doing certain changes, right? We've moved through many changes. Of course, what's happening in the world it's impossible to stay the same. For many of you, if not for all, it's impossible to stay the same. Even if you try to hold to the past, you're still changing, right? Because we are adapting to what's happening. But more than this adaption to what's happening, we are discovering how we feel about what's going on. And that is one of the most important discoveries. Like, what we feel about what's going on, how we feel about what's going on. Because that's where we notice that um, those feelings are becoming more intense. Like, when external world is quite normal, quite um, everything is quite casual, we're not paying much attention to our feelings. But when more and more things are going out of ordinary, right, out of order, we start to, to feel a bit um, out of order as well. And that's where we notice that maybe we are a part of this web. Maybe we are a part of this matrix. If everything is affecting us, what it has to do with me right now? If everything is affecting me, what it has to do with me? Like, if I'm a part of this web, if I turn this story around, why am I a part of this web? What can I contribute to this web? to make it a bit brighter, a bit more colorful, to add a bit more contrast, a bit more of myself to it, right? Because this uh, web of life, as Native Americans uh, called it and still call, call it uh, that way, we're all connected on it. And you may feel that connection when you, feel, when you see somebody who's hurting, you feel his hurt. When you see somebody who's happy, you, you can feel his happiness. When you talk with someone with whom you have those deep conversations, you both feel the same energy. And, you know, you don't need to be physically uh, connected. You can talk on Zoom, a person can be on the other side of the world, and you can feel his or her energy. That's how this web of life works. We are all connected. So what synchronicities then has have to do with all of that connection? Well, as we've started noticing that so much is changing, we've started asking ourselves, well, if all those things are affecting on me, how can I become more resilient to what's happening? And in search for the tools for resilience, we found so much more than tools, right? We found so much of insights, of guidance, of information that brought us closer to 
a greater self knowledge self uh, or or tools for self actualization right for becoming more of who you are and less of who you've thought that you are of who you've been told that you are and the tools allowed you to to create or to initiate certain changes in your life those are changes in the way you think that produced changes in the way you feel emotionally so your emotions are changing and therefore you are going from known and familiar patterns to something new so you are kind of shifting from from being in that known familiar sometimes uh, boring state into a new state of creativity of initiation of discovery of um of uh, adventure and you're jumping from one state to another every time you make that jump you make a huge uh, wave of change in the energy field in the the field of wave of life you make a huge wave it's like throwing a rock into a water it will create those waves and every time you do that every time you you jump from known familiar state into unknown new state you create those uh, waves of motion and that's what starts producing synchronicities in your life so what are synchronicities so every time you start questioning something you jump from known familiar to unknown new version of yourself why because in that known state you were not questioning anything you were just living your life according to your conditioning your subconscious patterns but as soon as you've started questioning something now you're stepping into the river of change right if here is you and here is a flow of a river and you're observing it like oh what an interesting river and on the other side of that river there's a different version of you a version who was willing willing to go through discomfort who was willing to face with fears and that person became changed right so in order to walk through that river you need to face with everything that may be thrown into you and you need to stay true to your intentions to your core values that um, should come from your heart from your inner intelligence that's in excess to you and every time you do that you create this ripples this waves of changes like you could see them in the water like i said before and that's what is causing synchronicity so when you start thinking about something it may appear somewhere like thinking about for example asking how to improve your health and the right book may come into your life or the right person may come into your life or certain thing that may introduce you to what you need to know will appear in your life that's synchronicity synchronicity is also when you start thinking about something and you may hear a song talking or singing about a thing you were thinking about those are all synchronicities that are kind of supporting your changes especially when you start working on something that's really important to you like for me a certain painting that may be really uh, big to me like really important like something i like something that s something in front of me is unfolding that i see all that process and i feel like this is an incredible painting more i'm working on it more i start to read stories of artists how much time they dedicate to an artwork so it can become great and so on like synchronicities are always supporting you bringing you this tiny gentle messages that are saying to you hey keep up keep up because you're doing a great thing and you know in the past we've been conditioned that we need proofs in order to believe into something but as we are walking on that uh, path of change and transformation and transcendence 
so we can transmute fears and doubts into faith and trust. We are starting to look on life um, from that faithful perspective, more than from that doubtful and fearful perspective. Which means that uh, what before we needed some proofs to believe, now we need more like a feeling. If that's the right thing, I will do it. And from that feeling, we can give birth to faith. And faith is just, um, uh, it just means that you know that it will work well, because it needs to work well, because you're not doing that for yourself. You're doing it for the greater good of all. And sometimes a great self-discovery is a greater good for all, because once you discover something new about yourself, you're able to teach that to somebody who's dealing with some similar challenges. So, you see, uh, self-discovery is always helping to, to produce evolution in society on a conscious level, because every time someone new discovers something new about him or herself, that person is able to give something back to the society that can help others to evolve. And that's something truly powerful. So never ignore synchronicities, never ignore the tiny gentle signs, even if they start just in your heart. You know, sometimes you feel something is right and sometimes you feel something is wrong. Question those feelings because they will get you closer to the deep realizations that at the beginning they will be gentle, but they will become stronger. And more you are nurturing these feelings, those sensations, more you will become familiar with them. And it's like building a relationship with your soul. That's what you're doing. You're becoming more of yourself, more of that version of you who knows, who don't just think about things, but knows what is right, what is real, what is true. So, my friends, this is it for today. 2023, maybe I will make more videos about this, but I believe that this is a year uh, of, or in which for people who are truly working on themselves, will start to experience many lucky things. And lucky things are nothing else but positive changes. Uh, they, they are worthy of receiving. They know that they deserve. And for many people who are working on themselves, this will be a lucky year, a great year of transformation. And it already started. So many people already went through huge trans transformation in January, and more of those things will be happening in the next months. So, my friends, I'm sending you lots of love, blessings, and power. Have a beautiful day. Stay creative. Stay wonderful. Keep that smile on your face. And see you next time. One love.